qualified buyers can get 1.9% APR financing on 2024 Acura models. Heating up the kitchen, we got something different. Spreading good vibes all day. Living in the Golden State. Nada se puede comparar. Living in the Golden State. Viven el estado dorado. You know, the plaintiff's lawyer was very persuasive. What do you expect? He's from the law offices of Larry H. Parker. So? He's won 95% of his cases. Yeah, when they take on a case, it's got merit. And it's clear that their client was very badly injured. I think it's time to vote. It's a no-brainer. Parker's client wins. Don't they always? If you've been injured in an auto accident, you need an attorney that you can trust. Call us at Larry H. Parker. We'll fight for you. People don't really realize how much of an impact the feet have on the rest of the body. A lot of times people with knee pain, there's really nothing going on with their knee. The issue is actually stemming from the foot. So now we're predisposed to hip pain, low back pain. What I really like about the good feet system is that when the foot's placed in the ideal position, everything else up the kinetic chain works better. You have better balance, more energy. You're going to feel better and you're not going to have to spend so much time worrying and thinking about your pain. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Suffering with your teeth? It's affected everything in my life. Relationship with my husband, my children, friendships. Can you believe that was me a couple weeks ago? And look at you now. Dental Implants GPS gives patients more than just dental implants. You get your life back in just 24 hours. We were all so excited for it. Look at this team behind you. You got, you got everyone. I put my trust in the specialist at Dental Implants GPS. And you should too. Call today. South Central Los Angeles Regional Center is looking for dynamic individuals to serve the disability community. Join our team. Please visit our job fair on April 20th. We're accepting walk-ins from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Just bring your resume to 2500 Southwestern Avenue in Los Angeles and dress to impress. We provide very competitive salaries and great benefits. For job listings and to learn more about our rewarding careers, please visit sclarc.org. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. The FAA is investigating another mid-air scare involving a Boeing aircraft. We'll tell you what happened on a Southwest flight over the weekend just ahead. Good morning, I'm Omar Lewis. Today, millions of Americans are getting ready to take part and see a total eclipse here in Southern California. We're not in the path of totality, but there are still plenty of ways to check it all out. We'll have those details for you coming up next. Good morning, I'm Trevor Shirley, live in Washington. The White House is again making an effort to forgive federal student loan debt. I've got details on that coming up just ahead. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Saturday night's Powerball drawing for a billion-plus jackpot was delayed for hours. We'll explain why and the outcome. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New here at 8 o'clock, a judge has decided the fate for the actor Jonathan Majors. What will transpire for Jonathan and will we turn the light on? Uh, plus, uh, it's a new take on Hamlet called Fat Ham. It's a play locally getting a lot of attention. One of the stars, Marcel Spears, is with us live. And good Monday morning. I'm Kirk Hawkins filling in for Mark Kriske this morning. We begin with plenty of sunshine, drier and warmer weather, at least to start out your week. But gusty winds as well along the coast, downtown L.A., uh, maybe a little bit lighter winds, but uh, we're looking at breezy, even gusty conditions at times. A wind advisory now in effect. Uh, warmer weather expected to, uh, throughout the week. I'll have more details on that coming up. For now, though, uh, Ginger Chan is in the traffic center. Yeah, it's such a crazy situation. We were talking about sometimes it's all lanes, but mostly the signal alert issued for the three right lanes. Take you back over to look at that 405 North excuse me, before you get to the 90, right at about Sepulveda Boulevard. So what we have here is a situation where it's a fatality investigation, right? Happened just before 5 o'clock this morning. Well, with a major accident investigation team from the CHP on scene, that gives me an indication that this one will be here for a while, as it's been here for a while. They canceled the original time frame, went with until further notice, and it's been on. Now, again, at times it's for all lanes, okay? So I can see additional crews had to get to the scene here. But we know that officially three right lanes, you're still down for the count. I like the the 110 to the 10 west back over to that 405. Speaking of, this is the 405 heading south right about Vermont. 
where it's a spin-out crash that's now sitting in lanes. It's not that bad for your drive heading south. It's that northbound side that's real crowded, and there's basically the alternate I've given you. There are some other ways. The only reason I like this one, because some people like to stay on the freeway, and hopefully that will help you. Uh, if your plans take you into areas of Culver City or points slightly farther to the north. We're going to keep our eyes on the outstanding cigarettes and everything else that are popping up for your drive on this Monday. I'll send it over to you guys. The total solar eclipse uh, will move across part of the United States in a few hours. We are not in the path of totality here in Los Angeles, so we won't be able to see the full eclipse here, but we can appreciate and enjoy it. KTLA's Omar Lewis, live in Griffith Park, where many people are expected to gather for this big event. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're just about two hours away from the start of that solar eclipse. As you mentioned, we here in Southern California will be seeing a partial eclipse. There's no other better place to see it than right here from this view on top of the Griffith Observatory. And while the observatory will be closed, folks will be coming out to view that partial eclipse from the lawn right here this morning. They'll also be having a live online broadcast from Texas from 10 o'clock this morning to one online, one o'clock this afternoon. That's all online. You can check it out there. But first, I want to show you this. You can see that path of totality here where the total eclipse will be visible as the moon fully blocks the light of the sun for several minutes. It will make landfall along Mexico's Pacific coast and cross into Texas and 14 other states before exiting over Canada across North America and other places like here in LA. There will be a partial eclipse that starts just after 10 a.m. The peak of the eclipse is expected to happen around 11 o'clock this morning with everything ending just after noon. Those will be the moments when the moon's shadow first starts to cross the sun to when the last of the shadow leaves. The moon will shroud the sun for up to four minutes and 28 seconds. We've been out here this morning speaking to folks excited for this phenomenon that's happening for the first time in seven years. We came to visit friends and family, so we were here, but it's like kind of feels like we're supposed to be here on the West Coast to experience this. We're sort of making our way back to the airport. We have a early flight back and um, we said, well, it's we got some time to kill. How about we go up on top of this hill? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Even it's if to see the sun rise right. on the day of the eclipse. Yeah, absolutely. How special is today? It's an eclipse today, so I was trying to be here to for the, for the second time I think it's in LA I'm gonna try to see something different to every day and I know I'm really I really saw too many people around here <laughs> and this big event is cause for some big celebrations all across our area take a look at these watch parties happening Cal State LA will be having a viewing party that starts at 10 a.m. you can also head to the California Science center that watch party will include some hands-on educational activities if you're closer to pasadena you can head to caltech they'll be giving out free eclipse glasses other places to watch include the manhattan beach library and the lawn right here of course outside of the griffith observatory we can show you some of the safety tips from nasa if you do plan on taking part in today's activities do not look directly at the sun. That is the biggest tip of the day that can lead to permanent eye damage. The eclipse is only safe to witness with the naked eye during totality or that period of total darkness when the moon covers the sun, which again, we will not be experiencing here in Southern California. Back out here live, we can tell you here at the Griffith Observatory, if you've been up here, you know parking can be a challenge, of course. So that's why we want to let you know that the Dash Observatory shuttle is running this morning that starts at 10 o'clock here you can see folks making their way here today we've got our glasses ready to go as well again the tip do not look directly at the sun you want to put them on first and then you're good to go. <laughs> so that's the trick here today. Looks that's the so very cool. latest here live from the Griffith like Observatory this morning. It's like you got the matching ones with that fabulous outfit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they don't look like that on everybody else. Did not plan that out. <laughs> it worked. They're perfect. Oh, you guys are too kind. Did mm. not plan that out at all. Okay. Total coincidence. And these things are working. I must say, you can't see a thing when yeah. you put these on. So, hey, that's a good thing. And that's what it's all about today. Okay. Yeah. So you, we know you can get, because I was just saying, where can we get glasses? You told us at the public library. Mm -hmm. Good to know, Omar. Thank you. Appreciate it. So if you get the glasses, yes. 
What do you do with your eclipse glasses after it's all over today? Well, you can keep them for the next one, uh, seen in the U.S. in 2044, or you can have them uh, repurposed. A group called Astronomers Without Borders is running its second eclipse glasses recycling program. It collects glasses from schools, museums, city organizations, and community groups, and then sends them to underserved communities around the world for future solar eclipses. In 2017, AWB collected a half million glasses that were distributed in Africa, Asia, and South America. That's terrific. Yeah, and stay with KTLA 5 as we continue to bring you coverage of this historic total eclipse. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll check in with Aaron Myers at LAX, where flyers are hoping to see the eclipse from the air. And they're also going to check in with Gail Anderson on how to keep your pets safe during the eclipse. Oh, this just in. Some <laughs>